Here stands a chapel with a face that says quarter past six the same way, whether a christening, marriage or murder goes on. A face that doesn't cry tears at the funerals of the dead, or smile as a crowd of picnic goers walks by. This face is odd, almost alien to this world. A circular face crafted with Roman numerals and closed off in a box that hugs this chapel. It's a face I've seen on the walls of bars. A face I know at the end of the hallway. A face that broods in the shadows. It watches booze eat out the insides of the holy man of the house. It has seen millions of hopes going in uh, 132 years. Both young and old, all with dreams. A young man carries in his mind the sins of his heart. An old woman walks out with a grief-stricken heart. What makes them the same is that they don't see the face of the chapel. The same face that works under the jurisdiction of the heavens. Time was never important to us anyway. One lost soul hoists a bag of sustenance over his shoulder, crosses over to the other walkway. He looks at his wrist for instruction, turning to his phone for further guidance and aid. As the face of the chapel watches his understanding of time fall apart in that split second, it points numbers to people a uh, quarter mile away, but even those close and far have their heads pointing down. It's pretty common for a clock to fail. And of course, there are sources of time all around us, but the faces that this timeless face watches seem to move in a union, away from the chapel.